The Women's World Cup is setting viewership records, and as the hype around women's soccer grows, advertisers are eager to score airtime. Ad revenue for the 2023 Women's World Cup is up 50% from the last event in 2019. That's according to Mike Petruzzi, Senior VP of Sales for Fox Sports. With more on that, let's bring in Brooke De Palma, who's been looking at some of those numbers for us. Brooke. Good morning, Akiko. With the game still underway, it'll be quite some time until we get a full picture view of just how much money companies spend to see their ads on the big screen. But if you take a look back at 2019, when the U.S. won the World Cup, by the way, $96 million were spent on ads. Yet a year before that, in 2018, $350 million were spent for ads during the Men's World Cup. But the hype is growing around the women's game since big names are vying for airtime during this year's tournament. Adidas launched its ad called Play Until They Can't Look Away, where it highlighted the next generation of players. Its global comms director said this summer's tournament feels like it's one that's really bringing us to a tipping point for the women's game, record ticket sales, bigger broadcast audience, more committed fandoms, and more emerging icons. Coca-Cola has supported the event since the tournament began back in 1991, but this year, maybe a bit different. It decided to build on that relationship with its ad called Believing in Magic, showing the stars of the Women's World Cup as young players. And Nike, showing a son and daughter watching the 1999 games, only to be propelled into an entirely different world today, where women's soccer has a new energy around the game. The similar theme in all these commercials, a reinvigoration around the women's uh, game of soccer, in which turn, perhaps, could lead to more money, Akiko. So, Brooke, what could spur more money for ads? Yeah, well, when I spoke to Paul Werner, an analyst at Insider Intelligence and eMarketer, he said, quote, it's going to be gradual process, but one moment that could change a lot here is the women's broadcasting rights that are up for renegotiation. And back in 2020, when the media rights for the National Women's Soccer League went up for $1.5 million per year in an agreement with CBS spending a three-year period, but if you take that and compare it to the $250 million Apple recently spent for men's Major League Soccer that recently secured a deal spanning the next decade, that's about 160 times more than that women's deal that I just mentioned. And Werner says that he thinks the gap will start to close as we see bro this broadcast deal uh, get renegoti renegotiated. rather. But he said it'll be a very, very long way to go. But higher pay for these broadcast deals could lead to higher sponsorships, higher ad value, and ultimately women at the end, end of the day getting paid more. Yeah, chipping away at that existing divide. Brooke De Palma, thanks so much for that.